So, if anyone wants more proof that traditional conservatives are anti-male simps, look right here. So this tweet right here, as you can read, is in reply to this post. This Reddit screenshot. Men's mental health still isn't taken seriously. Newsflash, it never will. By both women and men. So long story short, whenever my M37 partner F38 is a little down or upset or whatever, I'll give her a hug, I'll ask her what I can do, make her a cup of tea, whatever, no prompt, and just do. Tell my partner how I feel particularly low, particularly low today, to a point where I don't want to wake up anymore. Her reply, what am I meant to do with that information? I was speechless. Now, this goes to show that so many women, in fact, a large amount of women, even, I don't want to say most or all, because I want to avoid the same kind of generalizations feminists make about men, but a large amount of women don't see men as human. Like, not even their male partners, their male romantic partners. As you can see here, this partner right here, this man right here, does everything he can for his significant other whenever she is feeling down, but whenever he's feeling down, she just says nothing. Well, not nothing, but she does nothing and refuses to help him. Because she doesn't see him as human, she only sees him as a tool, like so many other women do. And it's depressing, and what's more depressing is that these trad cons, such as this guy, who says that the problem of men and weakness, weakness, aka showing human emotions, showing your humanity, and being more than just a tool for people, because that's what they mean by weakness, showing your humanity. The problem with men admitting weakness is it makes other people they provide for it feel unsafe and insecure. You have to be relied on, so keep it to yourself. So, translation, you are a tool, you are not human, therefore suppress all your human emotions, suppress your humanity, just so you can make yourself useful to others, you slave. This mentality is why legitimate men's movements such as the pro-male collective will always struggle to take off because so, so many people will, will subscribe to disbelief. So many track con men will subscribe to disbelief. So many track con men are fine with being nothing but tools. They are fine with being dehumanized by women. For what reason? Just so they can like be sexually selected because this is all about sexual selection this is all about approval of women they can say oh it's my duty no they just want to be approved of by women and just even more stuff right here like, women simply don't enjoy male vulnerability, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. And, even if this is true, which is, for the most part, track cons like this person, and this person, and so many other people in the quotes who support this type of thinking, the 4,000 people who liked this tweet. 
like tweets like these that pretty much ignore that men are human and humans can have depression. Humans like do struggle with mental health. And so many men are just fine with this. <sighs> like Like these comments right here. You can share with a therapist, a sibling, a parent, or a close male friend, but a wife or child expects you not to be a sinking ship. Pretty much saying if you're not the tool, the perfect tool, if you show any sort of humanity, which includes in fallibility, vulnerability, if you show any humanity at all, you are a sinking ship to women. And these cons are completely fine with it. These cons are fucking just, they're just cancer to men as a whole. And I'm tired of Pretending like these track cons aren't as bad as these feminists because track cons and feminists are on the same boat. Women set these standards of male disposability and male objectification and male slavery, and track cons will have no problems with these systems of male disposability, male slavery, they will gladly support it just to be sexually selected. Like their fantasies of being sexually selected, their fantasies of having a wife are more important than their own humanity. These people are cancer to man as a whole. And any serious pro-male movement will go just as hard with destroying these toxic elements as they will with attempting to destroy feminists. And you like some housekeeping stuff, sorry for not uploading. I just wanted to lay low for a while. As I said, I'm no longer doing the type of content I did before. Mainly to preserve my channel and preserve my voice, but yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If for all men watching this, I love you. You matter. You are worthy of rights, respect, and consideration. You are not a tool. You are not a provider. You are not a slave. You are a human being and you deserve to be treated like one. Bye.